being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 13, Hidden in Plain Sight So why didn't you just go to the Horn Cracks straight away? Wouldn't that have saved you a lot of time? <laughs> Have you ever tried catching them when you're carrying 35 kilograms in your pack at 51 agility without a graceful set? Not very fun. Thinking about it, yeah, that does sound pretty terrible. Exactly. And not to mention, the damage stacks up pretty quick. While it wasn't the most exciting time of my life, I figured now would be a good time to train on ammonite crabs while I waited for my birdhouses. Which brings us to the second goal on our list, obtaining a higher combat level. With a higher defense and HP level, I'd be able to withstand more of the Horned Grok's hits while I was hunting them, meaning I wouldn't need to take as many trips back and forth to get food. But aren't Ammonite Crabs always packed? How the heck were you able to get a spot? Yes, Ammonite Crabs are a nightmare to train at. Well, they're a nightmare if you don't have a secret training spot. Luckily, I came across some juicy information that I've been keeping all to myself until now. I just got 65 strength. I keep missing the levels because it's only there for like a split second, but there we go. Oh yes, another ruby from the casket. Awesome. That saves a lot of time. There will probably be a lot of easy clues this episode since we're pretty much just training, so I'll, I'll do as many as I can. Well, no luck this time. <laughs> I could definitely use some more agility levels for this, but I really want to get the hunter done first, so... That's what we're focusing on right now. Nice, 52 Hunter. Just got 68 strength. We are almost to 70 and then we'll probably switch over to attack. Okay, I'm ready to do this next clue scroll. Let's go. I love when you get back-to-back -back clues in the same area. Oh, we got, uh, is that, that's the same thing we have already. Oh, why couldn't it be like a robe top or something? Dang it. I think I'm actually gonna switch this out for the ancient robe bottom just because it kind of goes better with the trimmed robe top. Probably a good idea to remake this amulet of strength because we'll be camping at Ammonite Crabs for quite a while. My friends, we have achieved the 70 strength. And we're training attack and strength first because we just want to increase our damage output. That'll make the defense levels go faster, and it'll also give us some extra HP levels. Ah, uh, I didn't record the genie because I didn't want to lose out on this lamp. So here we go. This will give us 15 Slayer. So I never actually finished making this amulet because I just went straight back to Ammonite Crabs. Usually it takes me about you know, 5, 10, sometimes 15 minutes to do one birdhouse run. It really depends on if I have the seeds. And that's just one. And you can do them every hour. So whenever I do them, I usually end up just popping down into the Ammonite Crabs for a little bit. Hence, I'm just getting the Amulet of Strength now. Oh, yes. Another genie. One more to 16 Slayer. I didn't want to bother showing all the steps for this single step in the clue. But 
It took like almost an hour to get all this stuff. Honestly, they should just change the name of Easy Clues to Falador Clues. <laughs> So I just telegraphed this gold bar down here for another dig site pendant, and <laughs> I got 64 magic. I keep doing this to myself where I'll not have enough inventory space for the hammer and the chisel, so then I'll have to drop these logs here, grab the chisel from the shop, and then walk all the way back. This is really testing my ability to plan things. <laughs> also, 54 hunter. Alright, we got another Falador clue. I've been planting these sweet corn seeds that I keep getting from the master farmers and I have an idea. So when I'm thieving from the master farmer I can just plant these seeds and then have my own supply of food basically for the next trip. So this will save a lot of time. And they give 104 cooking XP each and you can do these at a really low level. So I will definitely be using these. Also if anyone is worrying that I'm not showing any of that raking or compost content, then don't worry. There will be lots of that in the next chapter. We are getting some passive thieving levels, so maybe it'll be useful. I'm not sure though, but we'll see. Man, this corn is really starting to come in handy. <laughs> Guys, a new discovery has been made. Look at all these ingredients that we can buy. Do you know what this means? We can make our own pizza. Or we can just burn it. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just got 64 attack. Oh man, I hate having to do this for the clue, but I mean, it doesn't even give us a level, so not too big of a difference. And we only have to do it once. Okay. <laughs> Um, I mean, they look really cool. If if we if we had like one defense, it'd be good. But I think I will take my Addy Plate Legs over this. We are closing in on the attack grind because I think after 70, it'll be a good time to switch to defense. Oh, I should probably update you on all the fossils I've been collecting. We are starting to get a pretty decent sized collection. Ha, another clue scroll. Let's follow that trail. Second step, and we got the casket. <gasps> no way. That is actually really good. We cannot store a regular amulet of magic in our house, but because this one is a specific treasure trail one, we are able to store it in the oak treasure chest. So we can now have two amulets pretty much whenever we want. Oh, I forgot you could get clue nests from here. It's our first one. Hmm, elemental workshop. Isn't that the place? 62 defense. 63. Oh, an apple tree seed? I'm pretty sure we can plant this, but you'll probably won't see that till the next video. Uh, there's a lot of steps for this easy clue. I thought I already built this stash unit. Well, there's our emerald. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have went to the gem shop at the Tazar City. Dang it. At least we got a ruby out of it. Iron plate legs are here, there. You know, it'd be really convenient if I just built all these at the same time so I didn't have to come here and keep making more nails, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this mm, is not it. One more. Trout. 67 defense. We are getting closer and closer. 47 thieving. Just another update on the fossils real quick. Oh yes, another book. Let's see, might be able to get a level on this, I'm not sure. 
no level. 3,000 Slayer XP though. 73 hit points. Almost a million experience with the Rune Scimitar. We are closing in. We just got 69 defense. One level away from the base 70s. There's our second book. This should bring us to 17 Slayer. All right, af all right, after a few weeks of training, we have now completed the first two tasks on our list for Horned Grox. Now, all we need is the third one. Thanks for watching, and please like the video if you enjoyed. And if you're interested, you could even click the subscribe button or hit the bell. That way you never miss a new video from me. Until next time.